played such a critical role in ensuring that this bill makes it made it to the floor today. The gentleman from Missouri is recognized for three minutes. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, and thank you, Mr. Hoekstra, for yielding me this initial time that would have otherwise gone to you. I thank you, Mr. Hoekstra, and Mr. Reyes and Mr. Smith for bringing this important piece of legislation to the floor, for working so hard to see that it uh, came to the floor. Uh, I'd also like to say that I again appreciated the opportunity to work with my good friend Mr. Hoyer as uh, uh, he spent so many hours and so much time on this. Uh, from his staff, Mariah Sixkiller, from my staff, Brian Diffel, uh, Mr. Boehner's staff, uh, Jen Stewart worked hard on this. Uh, Chris Nesta from Mr. Hoekstra's staff was indispensable in his work, as was Caroline Lynch from Mr. Smith's staff. Uh, and uh, I got to know, frankly, and uh, work with uh, Jeremy Bash from Mr. Reyes' staff uh, and Lou DeBaca from Mr. Conyers' staff and appreciated uh, the real uh, positive contributions they bring uh, to this process every day. I'd also like to suggest that uh, two staffers of my colleague from Missouri, Mr. Bond, Lewis Tucker and Jack Livingston uh, spent uh, lots of time and lots of productive work on this. Uh, Madam Speaker, this represents a compromise, as Mr. Reyes just said, as Mr. Smith just said, uh, that was forged with lots of hard work by lots of people. It accomplishes the goals of the intelligence community. There's no individualized court order for targeting foreign terrorists in foreign countries. Uh, there are protections here for communications providers that may have assisted the government, but as Mr. Reyes just said, those protections will be determined by a court, not by this legislation. Uh, we modernized the law to adapt to changes in technology since the 1978 uh, FISA statute. The bill would accomplish all this while adding new protections and strengthening the individual liberties and privacy protections of Americans. We also work closely with the majority to reinforce the FISA Court's role in procedural certifications and reviews of administration's policies, and we created some new obligations for the Attorney General to establish guidelines. Uh, Madam Speaker, like yesterday's vote, this bill is an example of what we can do when we work together. I thank all those who have worked so hard to get it to the floor today. I urge my colleagues to vote for it, and I yield back.